Okay, sorry again for the poor quality of this video, but I'm going to now go through looking at true versus vertical thickness. Okay, so we've now worked out the dip of these beds, which is the purple and the green beds, which are the surfaces which are bounding this unit Q. Okay, so Q, this is the upper and lower surface of this bed Q. So if we wanted to know the vertical thickness of Q, then we would, it, as if we were going to drill down with a little oil drill or something, we would, it is the distance here, if we went straight down from the surface, so if we had like a little drill on the top, we went straight down, that would be the vertical thickness. Okay. So the, however, if we want to note, because this unit is um, dipping, the actual thickness is going to be less than the vertical thickness because the true thickness is at 90 degrees here to the bed surfaces. So you can see it's at 90 degrees to the surface. And that is the true thickness. Okay, so the point of this exercise is to work out both the vertical thickness, which is what would happen is if we drilled down, but if we then wanted to know how thick this unit was, perhaps to work out how much oil it could hold or something like that, then we would have to work out this surface here, which is at 90 degrees to the bed. So to start off with the vertical thickness, how do we work that out? Well, if you'll remember from when we looked about structure contours, these were the lines of equal elevation on the dipping surface. So you can see here that I've drawn, it's a little bit smaller I know, but if you look back to map two, you'll see it again. We drew structure contours for this purple surface at the top of Q, and we've got 600, 500, 400, 300, 200, um, and then 100. And if you notice this 100 structure contour goes through the 300 meter elevation for this green surface at the bottom of Q. Okay, so the structure contours for the green surface are 300, 400, 500, 600. So you can see that there is a 200 meter difference between the structure contours for the purple surface and the green surface. This is the, the upper and the lower um, bounding surfaces for the unit Q. So that 200 meters means that this vertical thickness between the purple and the green line is 200 meters. Okay, so if I just expand this, so this vertical thickness for this unit is 200 meters. Okay, but we want to know this true thickness here. And this again is a right angled triangle. So, in order to do that, we need to work out, again, using trigonometry. So what I'm going to do to start off with is just explain a little bit about what angles we're going to use, okay? So, this here is just what I told you, so we had the vertical thickness and the true thickness. So we've worked out that the dip of this surface is 22 degrees, we already just worked that out, okay? So, as all angles in a right angle triangle have to add up to 180, we can say we have 22, we have 68 degrees and 90 degrees. We can also see when we draw this bigger triangle encompassing the vertical thickness that this then becomes another right angle here. So that shows that this angle here is also 22 degrees. So basically the angle of dip we then use again to work out the true thickness, but I'm just explaining why that is also 22 degrees. So this angle here, which I'll just blow up so you can see better, is 22 degrees. Okay, so now we can do our trigonometry again. So let's write this out again. Right, so we've got our angle here, so this is the opposite. We've got our adjacent here, and we've got the hypotenuse here. So this time, we want to know the adjacent, we have the hypotenuse, and we have the angle. 
So this time we're going to use a cosine, okay? Because equals adjacent over hypotenuse, okay? So we want to know the adjacent. So adjacent equals cosine angle times hypotenuse. So we can write this out again. So the true thickness equals cosine of the angle, which is 22, times the hypotenuse, which is the vertical thickness of 200 meters. So when we do that, so when we do cosine 22 times 200, then we get our true thickness, which is 185 meters. Okay. So you can see in this case, the vertical thickness is 200 meters. And then the true thickness is 185 meters. And you can see that always the true thickness is less than the vertical thickness. So just as a check on your work, you, if you've got a number that's bigger, you know it must be wrong. So it always has to be smaller. Okay, so you can now go and try this for yourself. So working out both the dip, 22 degrees, and how we can use that 22 degree dip, along with the structure contours, looking at the difference in the elevation between the two surfaces, in this case, the purple and the green surface, which gives us our vertical thickness of 200 meters. We can then use the cosine to work out the true thickness of 185 meters.